The Indian state of Karnataka is located 11 degrees 30 north and 18 degrees 30 north latitudes and 74 degrees east and 78 degrees 30 east longitude. It is situated on a tableland where the western and eastern Ghat ranges converge into the complex, in the western part of the Deccan Peninsular region of India. The state is bounded by Maharashtra and Goa states in the north and northwest, by the Arabian Sea in the west, by Kerala and Tamil Nadu states in the south and by the states of Andhra Pradesh and Telangana in the east. Karnataka extends to about 750 km from north to south and about 400 km from east to west. Karnataka is situated in the Deccan Plateau and is bordered by the Arabian Sea to the west, Goa to the northwest, Maharashtra to the north, Andhra Pradesh and Telangana to the east, Tamil Nadu to the southeast, and Kerala to the southwest. It is situated at the angle where the western Ghats and eastern Ghats of South India converge into the Nilgiri Hills. The highest point in Karnataka is the Mulyanagiri Hill in Chikamagaluru district which has an altitude of 1,929 metres 6 feet above sea level. <laughs> <laughs> Landforms of Karnataka The state has three principal physical zones. The coastal strip, called Karavali, between the Western Ghats and the Arabian Sea, which is lowland, with moderate to high rainfall levels. This strip is around 320 km in length and 48 to 64 km wide. The Western Ghats, called Malinadu, a mountain range islands from the Arabian Sea, rising to about 900 meters average height, and with moderate to high rainfall levels. The Deccan Plateau, called Bayalu Simi, comprising the main inland region of the state, which is drier and verging on the semi-arid. The humidity in these plains or maidens never exceeds 50%. Karnataka has one of the highest average elevations of Indian states at 1,500 feet. The highest recorded temperature was 45.6 degrees Celsius .08 degrees Fahrenheit at Reicher on May 23, 1928. The lowest recorded temperature was 2.8 degrees Celsius .04 degrees Fahrenheit at Bidar on December 16, 1918. <laughs> Area and population Karnataka has a total land area of 191,791 square kilometers and accounts for 5.83% of the total area of the country measured at 3,288,000 square kilometers. This puts it in 7th place in terms of size. With a population of 6, 11, 30,704, it occupies 8th place in terms of population. The population density which stands at 319 persons per square kilometre is lower than the All India average of 382. <inaudible> 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 Mineral resources Karnataka is rich in its mineral wealth which is distributed fairly evenly across the state. Karnataka's Geological Survey Department started in 1880 as one of the oldest in the country. Rich deposits of asbestos, bauxite, chromite, dolomite, gold, iron ore, kaolin, limestone, magnesite, manganese, ochre, quartz and silica sand are found in the state. Karnataka is also a major producer of felsite, molding sand and fuchsite quartzite in the country. Karnataka has two major centers of gold mining in the state at Kolar and Raichur. These mines produce about 3,000 kg of gold per annum which accounts for almost 84% of the country's production. Karnataka has very rich deposits of high-grade iron and manganese ores to the tune of 1,000 million tons. Most of the iron ores are concentrated around the Bellary Hospit region. Karnataka with a granite rock spread of over 4,200 square kilometers is also famous for its ornamental granites with different hues. <laughs> Geology According to Radhakrishnan and Vaidyanathan 1997, there are four main types of geological formations in Karnataka. The Archean complex made up of Darwad schists and granitic gneisses, these cover around 60% of the area of the state and consist of gneisses, granites and charnakite rocks. 
Some of the minerals found in this region are dolomite, limestone, gabbro, quartzite, pyroxenite, manganese and iron ores and metabasalt. The Proterozoic non-fossiliferous sedimentary formations of the Kalaji and Bima series, the Kalaji series has horizontal rocks consists of sandstone, metabasalt, limestone, trapstone that run for 160 km in the districts of Belgam, Raichur, Darwad and Bijapur districts. The Bhima series that is present on either side of the Bhima River consists of rocks containing sandstone, limestone and shale and this is present in the Gulbarga and Bijapur districts. The Deccan Trappian and Intertrappian deposits, this is a part of the Deccan Traps which were formed by the accumulation of basaltic lava. This is made up of grayish to black augite basalt. The tertiary and recent laterites and alluvial deposits, laterite capping are found over the Deccan traps and were formed after the cessation of volcanic activity in the early tertiary period. These are found in many districts in the Deccan Plateau and also in the coast. <laughs> Soil types Eleven groups of soil orders are found in Karnataka viz. Entosols, inceptosols, molosols, spotosols, alphasols, ultasols, oxisols, iridosols, vertosols, andosols, and histosols. Depending on the agricultural capability of the soil, the soil types are divided into six types viz. red, lateritic, lateritic soil is found in Bidar and Kolar district, black, alluvio colluvial, forest, and coastal soils. The common types of soil groups found in Karnataka are Red soils, red gravelly loam soil, red loam soil, red gravelly clay soil, red clay soil Black cotton soil, gravelly soil, loose, black soil, basalt deposits Lateritic soils, lateritic gravelly soil, lateritic soil Black soils, deep black soil, medium deep black soil, shallow black soil alluvio colluvial soils, non-saline, saline and sodic Forest soils, brown forest soil Coastal soils, coastal laterite soil, coastal alluvial soil. Topic: Water resources. With a surface water potential of about 102 km, Karnataka accounts for about 6% of the country's surface water resources. Around 60% of this is provided by the west flowing rivers, while the remaining comes from the east flowing rivers. There are seven river basins in all formed by the Godavari, Kaveri, Krishna, the West Flowing Rivers, North Penner River, South Penner, and Pilar. <laughs> Waterfalls in Karnataka Lot of waterfalls in Karnataka Kadambi Falls Kalhati Falls Anashi Falls Chakra River Vibhuti Falls, Onaki Abbey Falls, Hanamangundi Falls, Chelavara Falls, Kadra Falls, Gutlu Falls, Hidlaman Falls, Godchinamalaki Falls, Abbey Falls, Bandahe Falls, Barkhana Falls, Chunchanakit Falls, Devaragundi Falls, Gokak Falls, Heb Falls Irupu Falls, Jaladurga Falls, Jog Falls, Kalhati Falls, Kunchikal Falls, Magad Falls, Malali Falls, Mudhyalamaduvu Falls, Sathodi Falls, Shivanasamudra Falls, Shivganga Falls, Sirimane Falls, Vajrapoha Falls, Varapoha Falls, Unchali Falls East flowing rivers 26 east flowing rivers Amarja Arkavathi River Agrani River Bhadra River Chakra River Dandavathi Dani River Ghataprabha River Himavati River Hiranyakeshi River Hanuhol River Kabini River Kaveri River Kagina River Kadaka River Krishna River 
Kuba River Lakshmana Tirtha River Malaprabha River Pilar River Panchagangavali River Penar River Panayar River Shimsha South Penar River Tunga River Tungabhadra River Virada Vidavathi River Vrishabhavathi River West flowing rivers Ten west flowing rivers, providing 60% of state's inland water resources. Gangavali River Aganashini River Kali River Kumaradara River Mahadai River Shambhavi Varahi River Suparnika River Sharavathi River Netravati River Gurupura River Sithanadi River Reservoirs Lalbahadur Shastri Sagar, Alamati Basava Sagar Reservoir Navalu Thirth Reservoir Ghataprabha Reservoir Dupdal Reservoir Tungabhadra Dam, Haspit Linganamaki Bhadra Reservoir Krishna Raja Sagara Tipagandanahali Reservoir Harangi Dam Himavathi Reservoir Karanja Reservoir, Bidar Lakes Lakes in Devanjare Shandhisagara biggest lake in India Lakes in Bangalore Mysore City Lakes Uncle Lake, Hubli Belgaum Fort Lake Hejeri Lake, Havri Hagari Jalashaya, Malavi Sharanabasava Lake, Kalabaragi Climate Karnataka has the following four seasons in the year The winter season from January to February the summer season from March to May The monsoon season from May to September The post-monsoon season from October to December The post-monsoon period of retreating and winter seasons are generally pleasant over the entire state The months April and May are hot very dry and generally uncomfortable Weather tends to be oppressive during June due to high humidity and temperature the next three months July, August and September are somewhat comfortable due to reduced day temperature although the humidity continue to be very high. The highest recorded temperature was 45.6 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit at Reicher on May 23, 1928. The lowest recorded temperature was 2.8 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit C at Bidar on December 16, 1918. Karnataka is divided into three meteorological zones. Coastal Karnataka, this zone comprises the districts of Uttara Kannada, Udupi and Dakshina Kannada. It is a region of heavy rainfall and receives an average rainfall of 3,638.5 mm per annum, far in excess of rest of state. North Interior Karnataka, this zone comprises the districts of Belgaum, Bidar, Bijapur, Bagalkot, Haveri, Gadig, Darwad, Gulbarga, Kapil, Bellary and Raichur districts. This is an arid zone and receives only 711.5 mm of average rainfall per annum. South Interior Karnataka, the rest of the districts of Karnataka falls into this zone. This zone receives 1,064.8 mm of average rainfall per annum. Rainfall The southwest monsoon accounts for almost 80% of the rainfall that the state receives. The annual rainfall across the state ranges from low 50 cm to copious 350 cm. The districts of Bijapur, Raichur, Bellary and southern half of Gulbarga experience the lowest rainfall ranging from 50 to 60 cm while the west coastal region and Malinadu enjoy the highest rainfall. Hulakal in the Western Ghats experiences the heaviest rainfall in the country next only to Cherrapunji. Forests 
about 38,724 square kilometers or 20% of Karnataka's geographic are covered by forests. The forests are classified as reserved 28,611 square kilometers protected 3,932 square kilometers unclosed 5,748 square kilometers village 124 square kilometers and private 309 square kilometers forests. The percentage of forests area to geographical area in the state is less than the All India average of about 23%, and 33% prescribed in the National Forest Policy. The area under protected forests in the neighbouring states is as follows, Andhra Pradesh 62,000 square kilometres 9% of the total area of the country, Maharashtra 54,000 square kilometres 8%, Tamil Nadu 22,000 square kilometres 3%, and Kerala 11,000 square kilometres 2%. Karnataka is known for its valuable timbers from the evergreen forests in the Western Ghat region, notably teak and rosewood, the richly ornate panels of which adorn the beautiful chambers of the two houses of Karnataka legislature. <laughs> 